What's going on guys, EJ here. Today we're gonna try to go fish at Kent Narrows. This is one of my favorite places to fish. It's super chill. However, in the afternoons it gets really packed. So with everything that's going on right now, obviously that's not suggested. But I'm gonna go try and see if I can get my first keeper striper of this season. Now you know with this season, a lot of regulations change and you can only keep one 19 inches or bigger. I'm gonna be using the tandem rig or the um, dropper loop rig uh, and a fly. That's how you usually catch them over there in the afternoon. As long as the water is running, you should be able to catch a nice size one. I'm gonna be using my 10 six foot rod and hopefully I can catch one. Now, when it gets dark, that's a whole different setup. I'm gonna be using my seven foot medium light rod. I love catching those stripers in a medium light rod. A lot of people don't suggest it, but I just love it. Also guys, this place is such an amazing place to chill, to vibe. However, it's been impacted by a lot of people leaving a lot of trash behind. So this is a message to all the communities. But I know that my community, the Hispanic community, it's always looked at as the people that don't follow the rules, that leave a lot of trash. And maybe there is a majority of the time is what's going on. However, that's why I'm here. That's why I created this channel. I'm trying to help other people not only learn that we can do better than this, but also kind of clean our name. I hate it when I go to a fishery and the first thing that happens is long faces from other communities that when they see us, they're like, <sighs> and believe it or not, there's been times where people actually leave when I come. Now, is it because of the color of my skin? Maybe, but also I understand a lot of people. I am not one person to just sit back and just blame the other communities for being racist or judgy or whatever. I also try to put myself in their shoes and look at me and say, wow, these people are really leaving all this trash. These people are really harvesting all this small fish. These people are really taking more than what they're supposed to. So that's why we're here. Hook Junkie, Junior from La Pasión por la Pesca, we all try to always deliver the message of following the rules. If you do not know what the rules are, this is 2020. Everybody has a device now. Everybody has a smartphone. You can look it up. So with that being said, hopefully, and, and you know what though? I've actually seen a, a little bit of a change already in Kent Narrows. Kent Narrows last year was super packed all the time. There was always trash. And some people were defecating on the parking lot or in the grass. No. I've actually talked to a lot of our DNR officers and we're trying to make sure that we deliver the message. So there's a lot of people that just don't know. They just don't know. And I get it, you know, sometimes there's older people that really don't know or they feel like if they are there, that they're supposed to catch a fish, they're supposed to keep it, but we're trying to deliver the message. And please, if you see people, please call DNR. Don't get into a fight with them. Don't call them names. Don't try to be racist about it. Just call DNR. Let them get fined. I guarantee you, the sooner or later, they will actually learn their lesson. Thanks. So there you have it guys, let's get going. It's almost four o'clock and we need to get going so we can go fishing. Whoa, I had to stop maybe about four different places. I'm trying to get to Kent Narrows. I'm on my way, okay? Uh, I just talked to my friend Junior. He's gonna be there. Hook Junkie's gonna be there. My friend Herman is gonna be there. And I have my friend Gio. So we're gonna be packed over there and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people already there. So stay tuned and we're gonna definitely be on them today. So finally here, I think I had like seven stops. So let me show you a little bit of this place.
boy Junior is hooked up to what it seems to be a cow nose. Let's try to figure out what it is. Oh, yellow, yo! Cuidado, voy para allá. Cuidado, cuidado, cuidado ahí. Cuidado con las cañas. Dale, dale, dale. He's trying to remove the hook. Trying to get the hook out? Yeah. Oh, she's fighting. Oh, yeah. Mad. She's blown. <laughs> so my boy junior hooked into a cow nose ray he snagged her from one of the wings it was one of the craziest fights i've ever seen here in kent narrows i've never seen that here it's always been just rockfish and the occasional catfish but <laughs> he managed to snag a cow nose ray just now <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. Unfortunately, there wasn't much fishing in this video. You can obviously tell there was no social distancing happening in Canton Arrows, so I felt very uneasy, so I just left. So I went back a couple days after, and I didn't bring my cameras or anything, and I did manage to catch my first keeper of the season. Regulations right now are very clear on just one fish per day, so that's it and it has to be 19 inches at least to keep nobody nobody absolutely nobody wants people coming to their neighborhood to trash it so think about that if you had someone come to your neighborhood and just leave a bunch of trash you will feel some type of way that's the same thing that's happening across all these fisheries that are closing i don't know if you guys were aware of this but Mattapique and rum and coke thanks to people coming in playing loud music at night or kids running around at night leaving trash behind not following proper social distancing they do not allow you to fish at night at both of these places anymore which makes me very upset i don't know if you know but rum and coke was one of my favorite places to go especially to uh fish overnight but you can no longer do it i don't know if it's going to be a a year-round thing from now on or if it's just meanwhile the pandemic is going on but i feel some type of way and and that's the thing the only people that are going to be affected by this is the people that love this sport to the core the people that come once or twice a week and just kind of occasionally fish and leave all the trash behind they're not affected they don't care they're just going to go out to a different place and just trash that place too so we have to make sure that we keep people accountable it doesn't matter about race it doesn't matter about color it matters if they are breaking the law call dnr if you need the dispatch number i will leave it down below so you have it you can call them and unfortunately guys they do not always show but like i said before you do not want to get confrontational with anyone don't call them names don't get racial about it just call dnr if you are sure that these guys are breaking the rules and regs or leaving trash behind and they don't want to pick it up call dnr and of course 
anybody that wants to pick up trash after themselves, even though, even though it's not yours, you're more than welcome to. Believe me, you're not doing them a favor. You're doing everybody that actually loves fishing a favor. So real quick guys, I wanted to shout out Manuel, one of my fishing friends who's making this beautiful hand tie flies now. He's making them in all kinds of color and he's usually at Kent Narrows. If you are ever in Kent Narrows, you happen to stumble upon Manuel, make sure to talk to him about this really nice and effective flies. I guarantee you that if you buy some of his flies and use it at Kent Arrows, you will catch. No joke. And of course, just kind of like wanted to show you the way that we use um, the rigging over there in Kent Arrows is the inline sinker. You wanna do the inline sinker like such I use three or two ounce. Usually I do three ounces when the current is strong. Um, I don't really change it to two unless it's something that already has weight, like a, like a little jig hit or something. But if it's a fly, three ounces is more than enough. Weapon of choice, Mojo Surf 10.6, medium heavy. I got this used from one of my good, good friends. And that's something else that I could also speak about. If you have gear that you do not want, Make sure you recycle it. Don't just leave it just collecting dust and potentially getting broken. So if you have friends that maybe have a need for gear or something, make sure you let them know, hey, I have this for grabs for, you know, half of the price that I paid for it. This right here is an expensive rod, so I'm very grateful that people like my friend Herman are able to sell me some of his old gear that he doesn't use. Now, when it comes to reels, the Ultagraph 5500. It brings an extra spool, okay? It weights nothing. Let me show you something. This is the amazing Daiwa BG4500. And this is the Ultra Gara 5500. The BG is even bigger and it's a smaller size supposedly. Way heavier too. So if you're using the 10, 11, 12 foot rods, I recommend this one thousand percent you can just tell right here the spool is so much thicker or higher or longer than the BG um, real smooth okay I think it was like hundred and eighty six dollars brand new but it brings an extra spool so just in case like if I used to take it to um, Sandy Point and I used to put 30 pound test for uh, bait fishing and I used 20 pound test for jigging with a uh, surf rod so and, you know, you can't go wrong with this and they don't weigh anything. I mean, you can have it in your hand and keep uh, jigging and it's no problem. So that's it guys. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions of any other videos that you would like to see me do. Right now I'm coming back slowly making consistent videos. I'm trying to do my best. Like I said before, I did have a family member pass away thanks to the coronavirus pandemic that is going on. So just making sure that um, so it just felt very hypocritical for me to be out when I know there's a pandemic going on and I know there's people actually dying so I didn't want to be that unsensitive person if you like this video if you have any other questions and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so you will help me so much by just clicking the subscribe button or clicking the like button or even the notification bell it helps me a lot. So that's it guys. Make sure to follow the rules and pick up your trash. Stay awesome. Broski out.